गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ संजीनी वारस्कर फ्रॉम जयवंतराव सावंत पॉलिटेक्निक खड़गपुर कैंपस आई एम वर्किंग एज अ लेक्चरर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट माय सब्जेक्ट इज अप्लाइड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रैक्टिकल बिल्ड द क्रिस्टल ऑसोलेटर एंड मेजर द जनरेटर फ्रिक्वेंसी यूजिंग सी आर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वॉट इज मीन बाय ऑसोलेटर सो ऑसोलेटर इट इज नथिंग बट अ डिवाइस विच इज गोइंग टू जनरेट अ ऑसोलेशन बट द क्राइटेरिया इज Without giving any input, it has to generate the AC output signal. So, in this circuit, just you have to provide the DC voltage. There is no need to provide the AC voltage. And in oscillator, basically the circuit diagram consists of two sections. One is the amplifier section, and one is the feedback network. So, in the amplifier section, we are using the transistor, while in the feedback network, we have to use the crystal oscillator. so the part of this output signal is given as a input to this crystal to the base of the transistor so this amplifier it will make 180 degree phase shift while this uh, feedback network it will make 180 degree phase shift so total phase shift around the loop is equals to 360 degree so it is going to generate the oscillations as it is the barcoson's criteria after that it has to generate the frequency which should be exactly equal to the frequency of the crystal so uh, you have to keep vcc is equals to 12 volt and just by applying the vcc at the output side you are getting the ac wave or the sine wave at the output side so you have to measure the amplitude that is the peak to peak amplitude on the cro by pressing the xy button and the time period so to measure the time period you have to calculate the time of the positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle also it can be calculated on the cr after calculating the time period you have to calculate the frequency by the formula f is equals to 1 upon t and whatever your frequency getting at the output side that should be exactly equal to the frequency of the crystal so your crystal is the feedback element if you are using the crystal of 2 megahertz your output frequency it should be 2 megahertz if the value of crystal will be different your output frequency will be different let us move to the practical let's start the practical of crystal oscillator the equipment required are cro to see the output and the experimental key while the dc we are providing through the mscb supply this is the uh, circuit diagram here it is the crystal which is of 2 megahertz and this is the feedback network here you have to provide the vcc you can provide it directly or through the dc power supply after providing the vcc just you have to connect the cro at the output side and it will generate you uh, ac signal at the output side so you have to connect cro so again positive of the cro at the collector terminal because we are taking output at the collector by negative terminal of the cro it should be connected and observe on the cro you will get the sine wave next part that means we are giving only the dc voltage not applying any ac voltage and at the output side you are getting a oscillation so it is a oscillator for the practical purpose you have to calculate the amplitude of this wave what you are getting at the output side press the xy button so by pressing xy button adjust the position of this waveform to the proper base So we are adjusting here. So it is one, two, three, and four, and the volt per division knob is adjusted at the one. So four into one, so four volt is the amplitude of your signal, and you can change that amplitude by changing the potentiometer which is provided at this point. See, if I change this, the value of the signal will be changed. And next part is to calculate the frequency. So to calculate the frequency again, you have to adjust the x position of your waveform. and frequency is what it is nothing but the number of cycles per second so first you have to calculate the times per division and after that you have to calculate the frequency by taking the reciprocal of times per division so see the waveform positive waveform is starting at this point and the negative waveform will end at this point so the number of divisions will be 1 so one division multiplied by times per division knob so times per division knob is adjusted at the point 5 microsecond so 1 into 0.5 microsecond so it will be 0.5 microsecond is the time per division 
so you have to calculate the frequency so it will be f is equals to 1 upon t so 1 upon 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 so you will get 2 megahertz which is the frequency of your crystal so your crystal frequency and the output frequency will be exactly same so without giving input it is generating a ac wave at the output cell having a particular frequency